And you have to clean each one of them little oh. It might be hard to believe that 44 years ago, the Jacksonville Shell Club held its first shell show and fair. That is, until you realize that the club itself has been officially organized since 1959. Nearly every year, the nonprofit educational group opens its doors to the public for a scientific exhibit and arts and crafts show where enthusiasts can trade both information and treasured finds. It's topaz and uh, amethyst, uh, sterling silver. Collectors not only compete for awards, but sell shells from around the world. <laughs> Well, when you judge, you, you look for different things. First, you look for quality of the exhibit, artistic, um, the accuracy of the labels, and make sure all the words are spelled correctly, make sure the shells are identified correctly. And then we look at the shells themselves for the quality, size, color, and we give sort of points for all of these aspects, and that, that's pretty much how we judge scientific. I want the common name, not the scientific name. Well, I like artistic things, you know, I'm really not a professional shell collector, I just like it for the art. Um, so, uh, I, uh, and every piece of this is a piece of art, uh, you look at it that way, and those are something. The 44th Shell Show and Fair continues on Saturday, May 29th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., and Sunday the 30th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. in Morocco Shrine Auditorium. Admission is $5 for adults, $4 for seniors, and $3 for children aged 6 through 12. Entry is free to military members and scouts in uniform, in addition to Jacksonville Shell Club members. And for more on the history of the Jacksonville Shell Club, check out my blog at jacksonville.com slash Amanda to see a video from the day I went shelling with club members near St. Augustine last year. For jacksonville.com, I'm Amanda Warford. But it's wonderful. Everybody should come see this. Enjoy. Thank okay. you.